Hi, I'm Suzanne. And I'm Jen. And today we're down in our brand new legacy paired show home. We chose to do kind of two different styles to really showcase how you can make each home your own. We upgraded different things so you could see in this house we've done um, an open railing, we've done a knockdown ceiling on the other side, my house, the Cascade. We upgraded the appliances a little bit more but kept the ceiling and the railing area standard. So super moody next door, lots of black and white. If you walk into maybe like a lounge mm -hmm. and then on this side I feel like you come over and it's totally different. There's color, it's airy, it's bright, it's happy. Come check them out. We're super excited to hear your feedback. Yeah, come on down. Hi everyone, I'm Jen and I'm here from Shane Homes. I'm one of the interior designers. And today I'm hanging out in the Vista 3, our new paired home in Legacy. When you walk in, it just feels super bright and cheerful and warm, kind of prepping us for the summer that we're gonna have. I just wanted to kind of take you through my design inspiration for this home and kind of some of my favorite elements and features. So first off, I chose to do a neutral color palette, a little bit more bright and fresh, just for something a bit different to show that you can really stylize these paired homes in your own different way. I went with a lot of warm grays and warm light woods just to really like soften and warm up the space but I really wanted to keep it more neutral so that when you walk through the home, you can visualize your own color and your own style. I did a couple of theme rooms in this house as well. I did kind of like a girl's room to kind of showcase you can make it fun and cute for older kids. And then I did the master bedroom as well. That's probably one of my favorite rooms in the house just because I added some paneling, a little bit more of a cool feature to this one. I kind of want it to feel a little bit like tropical, like beachy in there something where you could picture yourself at the lake, kind of cozy. In this house, we also chose to do a game room to show something different, how you can use a bedroom as not just a bedroom, it can be a different type of space. I had a lot of fun with this. I personally play games myself, so I was definitely nerding out a little bit. <laughs> and we tried to incorporate every different type of gaming possible. There's a really awesome closet space in that room, and I like to call it the Nintendo Nook. So that's the place where you could sit down, play your Switch, play your Game Boy, any of those like cool retro games, and just have a lot of fun in there. And then we also had a lot of fun just kind of backlighting everything, just making that room just really glow and feel like very unique and cool. We would love to hear from you to see what you would like to see in our next Shane home. Right now in this one, we have a game room. We're gonna have a couple of other fun theme rooms coming up, but we wanna hear what you wanna see. We've done the home office, we've done the kids' rooms. What else would you use the space for? And we'll see if we can incorporate it in our next home. We're in Legacy, we're in a duplex, but let's make it feel like we're somewhere else. So when you come home, it's an escape. I decided to do this real French, almost New York feel. When you walk in, I get that feeling of, okay, we're in this really cool, loungy space somewhere that would be great for entertaining. And then we also have a cozier bonus room space upstairs too. So something a little bit more casual up there. The secondary bedrooms upstairs, I did some really fun and unique things. I did almost like a newspaper print uh, wallpaper on the one wall and then it just kind of tied everything together with the black and white that's down here. And then in the other secondary bedroom, super fun for the Formula One fans that are out there. We've got a giant Nico Rosberg wall mural there that's awesome. In the kitchen here, I wanted to show that you could do black uppers in a house and it doesn't make things look dark. So we have black upper cabinets throughout, and then I've done white lowers just to bring some of that brightness back in. And I just love how the kitchen turned out. I did add in a little bit of reeded glass. I carried over the paneling that's in the living space into the half bath, but brought in a darker color. So really fun, um, dark and kind of moody. I feel like the entire feel of this house is that moody vibe. You come in and, and things are they're black and white and they're just 
yeah, they're, they have a little bit of this bougie feel. Upstairs in the master bedroom, again, bringing that black and white up there. I've got a really beautiful wallpaper and then just tons of layers and textures. The ensuite has some super fun printed tile. And then again, bringing the black up at eye level with the tile there, just showing that it doesn't actually make things look really dark or smaller. It, it actually makes that space pop out a lot. So in the main living space here, I really wanted to show that you can layer a ton of texture without adding a lot of color. So I've layered a lot of the furniture pieces. I've kind of stacked a couple of different tables, but we're using all black and white and it still adds a ton of depth to the room. In the living space, because I had this beautiful paneled wall, I didn't want to necessarily overpower and hang a ton of pieces on it. So I opted to just layer some pieces on a console and I think it still brings the height to the space but it's, it's something different so there's just a lot of layering of textures and surfaces rather than adding in a ton of color. I've worked on a variety of different styles of show homes over the years and I do have to say this living space is hands down one of my favorites. You walk in and it just feels like you're taken somewhere else which I love. I'll tell you the one thing I love about this community is you've got a great balance for people. People who love nature, maybe you're a dog lover and you like to take advantage of parkways, pathways, walks with the kids. This has a plenty. Also, the Township Centre's coming. So if you love shopping, there's a Winners. If you like dining, there's tons of restaurants. And above all, there's a lot of employment opportunities right in your community. We love the community. The community Facebook page is a wealth of information if you just want to check into the people here. To give you an idea, the first customer that purchased with me, she was telling me when it was her little boy's birthday because of the COVID, the community got together and they took like a bunch of cars and made a little parade and drove by the little boy's house. And this just was a highlight of the little guy's day for his birthday. So we love that kind of community. We love the community spirit, the way they get together to do their community garden. I'm telling you, if you're looking to invest in a community with spirit, with features that are fantastic for any type of lifestyle, you're gonna wanna come and check out Legacy. It's amazing.